Okay, today is day two of Pythagorean Theorem, and I can use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the missing side of a right triangle. So today you're going to just have this really quick practice, um, and it should be very similar. Make sure you are writing the formula, and the first step down, I'm going to teach you a trick today, okay? So, I know that last time you did this, I made you do the whole thing. So, here we go with your trick, and you are going to love it, all right? So, Pythagorean Theorem, finding the hypotenuse. We're still on finding only the hypotenuse. So, my requirements, first off, remember, the Pythagorean Theorem is down at the bottom of your mathematics chart. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You should be able to say this in your sleep soon. All right? So, first step, we're going to look at our triangle. We're going to make sure and identify that our right angle, and our right angle is drawn on these. Uh, tomorrow, you'll be doing a practice where they're not drawn. Okay? So, you're going to take the corner of that right angle, and you are going to draw an arrow across and you are going to put C. I don't care if you put A or B here, I just need or B and A here. Remember, they are interchangeable. Okay? It said here on your um, uh, instruction sheet that I give my students, you must write the formula and the first step down for every problem to receive credit. So, my expectations. You will write a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to put in your numbers. So I have 14 squared plus 48 squared is equal to c squared. Now, I'm going to teach you a trick. Okay? Remember, last time I would make you do 14 squared in your calculator, write it down. 48 squared in your calculator, write it down equals c squared. Then I would make you combine those two so that you get an answer equals c squared. Then you had to, what undoes a square? I hope you said in your mind you square root it because that is what you do. To undo a square you square root it and remember that that handy dandy button is right on top of the squared button. Okay, so to undo a square you square root it, okay? So, but I'm going to teach you a trick today. So, I am going to press second square root, okay? And underneath that square root symbol, I'm going to put 14 squared. Then I'm going to put plus 48 squared. Now, I have to get out from underneath that radical sign. So I'm going to press my arrow out button, and all I'm going to do is hit enter. It's going to do all those steps for me automatically. Now, so my answer is 50 is equal to C, because remember, we want to know what C is. We want to know what the side length is, not C squared. C squared, remember when we did the notes, is the square off of that side length, the area of the square that I could create off of the side length, okay? So we want to know what C is, so make sure you write C is equal to 50, and that's what I want to see minimal on your paper today, all right? You have a whopping eight problems to do, only seven more because I did that, but I also expect you to go to quizzes and do Pythagorean Theorem Finding C. Okay? Have a great day.